Welcome back guys to Boats vs. Hallover, where me and the machine take on Mother Nature, typically at Hallover Inlet, but today we are visiting Boca Inlet. We've got an interesting one right now. The swell is coming in from just the right direction, where we actually have breakers offshore. It's not real big, but those breakers are going to make it a little more complex than normal to get out. Let's see how our boaters fare as they step in the ring and try and do battle with the inlet, and here we go in round one with an edgewater making its way out of Boca. Now they look pretty good here in the beginning, they've got a good pace, keeping the bow high, but this is a little bit different kind of a day. With breakers, it's all about timing. And here we can see the captain slowed down a little bit, he's trying to time it, but I don't know, he's going to get caught and they get smacked. Here they just missed the timing. The wave started to come in, he slowed down instead of speeding up, trying to get through it before it broke, and the wave catches him off guard, comes smashing over the gunnel of the boat. And unfortunately for this crew, I'm going to give this first round to Boca. Let's see if our captain that moves into the second round of the contest has a little better luck than our first crew. But here we go. Our captain is making his way out of Boca. Once again, same deal. Decent pace. Bow high. Looks good. But it's going to be all about timing, especially in a lake boat like this that's not really designed for offshore use. But my man here, he slows down. He's trying to time it out, but I got a feeling he's going to get caught off guard as well because he's just not moving fast enough through this. And there we go. He winds up stuffing it, takes water over the bow. And even though it was only a light stuffing, that's all it takes. That's a loss here in the second round. And that's not good news for the boats as the boats go down two to nothing really early in this contest. The boats have to pick it up here in the third round if they want to make a comeback. And here in the third round, we're going to feature a Hughes. Let's see how they fare as they make their way out of Boca. Insane deal is our first two captains right now. Good pace, bow extremely high. Heck, looking like a stub with the three ladies in the boat. Making his way out. Let's see how he fares as he tries to make it past the breakers. And here we go. The last set he's going to have to clear. Cap looks pretty good so far. And my man's not going to have any issues whatsoever trying to get out of Boca, but... What in the world is going on? My man's got a following. Everybody seems to be following him. Here they go. They all have similar luck, but I wonder why everybody's following him. And here we go into the fourth round. Boca up two to one as we have a Monterey stepping in the ring to try and do battle with the inlet. Let's see how our crew fares. Caps heading into the breakers now, hitting them off at a pretty good angle, keeping the bow a little low, but no, he makes it through the first one. Let's see if he can make it through the second set behind this, but he's going to go ahead and turn, get full gunnel into the waves, and let it open up, and that will be good enough for a win for the boats in the fourth round. And that brings us to the fifth and final round of our contest, tied it to a piece. Who will take the win in this episode? Will it be the boats or Boca? Oh no! They smacked! Our girl comes smacking down hard, and then she puts the single hand up in the air, which is typically the signal if you're in the bow of the boat that you need them to slow down. If you don't have this worked out with your crew, it's always a good idea. Everybody that rides my boat knows if they're in the bow and something's wrong, you put a single hand up, we will slow down. And unfortunately for this crew, it's going to bring them to a stop, and that means Boca is going to take a win in this round, and Boca will take a win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens in the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.